Hello everybody, my name is Santiago with Gestaldo Academy. Today we are talking LUTs, specifically how to apply them in Premiere and a few ways to adjust them once you already have them on. And in case you haven't heard yet, we have officially released our first wedding LUT pack. So if you shoot weddings or events and want to spice up your videos with some epic LUTs, you can now head over to our website and get them yourself. These are all tried and true LUTs that we've been using here at our studio for years and I guarantee that they will take your films to the next level. So with that out of the way, let's get into today's video. Let's start with installing your LUTs in Premiere Pro. There's a quick way to get the LUTs you need into Premiere, but there's also a way to get your LUTs permanently installed into Premiere. Let me show you the quick way first. So once you have your footage on your timeline, go to the Color tab. You should see a window on the right-hand side called Lumetri Color. With your clip or adjustment layer selected, Go to the second tab called Creative. Click on the Look drop-down menu. Here is where all the LUTs that came pre-installed with Premiere will be listed. If you haven't already installed the LUTs into Premiere, you won't see your new LUTs listed here. Instead, you'll have to click Browse. Find and select the LUT you want to apply. And there you go, easy peasy. So now, if you want to continue using this Browse and Click method, to go between your different LUTs, you can absolutely do that. It's fine, there's nothing wrong with doing this. The only thing is that every time you switch, you are gonna have to click this browse button and go back. If you want your LUTs to actually appear down here on this drop down menu, there is a way to get them installed permanently. So let me show you how to do that now. You'll start by actually closing Premiere. So now with Premiere closed, go find the LUTs you want to install and copy them. Once they're copied, go to your PC, OS, Program Files, Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. Here you're going to click Lumetri. Where is it? There it is. Lumetri LUTs Creative. Now this is kind of a crazy file path, so I'll make sure to include this on screen and in the description below. Anyway, once you're here, you can go ahead and paste your LUTs. And there you go. Now you can see it here listed next to all of my other LUTs. I have the Castaldo LUTs as well. So let's go ahead and close this and go back into Premiere. All right, now that we're back in Premiere, I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna go to my creative uh, Lumetri color tab and you'll see if I click down right here on the look drop down menu You'll now see that all the Castaldo LUTs are actually right here And the best part about this is that you can go between them quite easily You know, you don't have to go into that browse menu again So there you go And this is the best way to have the LUTs ready to go every time you open Premiere Pro So now that you know how to apply the LUTs, let's talk a little more about how to best use them LUTs are a shortcut to getting an awesome look out of ungraded footage, but not all footage will take the LUTs the same way. Some might appear to make your footage too dark or too contrast. So let me give you some examples. Here on this timeline, I've laid out three different clips from different cameras, slightly different lighting, and even this last one, you'll notice that it's very flat because it's shot in log. So now let's go through them, apply the, our LUTs and see what tweaks we need to make, if any. So this first one, I'll go into the creative tab and drop down and I have my LUTs right here and I'll go ahead and select, let's do downtown. All right, so I've also animated this adjustment layer so that it slides in and you can see the clear difference between how the footage starts and how our LUT makes it look amazing and wow. Honestly, this one, I don't think anything needs to be done. I think it's pretty good how it is. Um, but if you need to, you can make some slight adjustments in your basic corrections tab. Let's go to this next one. Let's try a different LUT. So on this one, let's go down here and go into Canon. All right, so this one is a little too punchy for me. I think the, the footage just takes the, the LUT in a different direction and makes it a little too punchy. The great thing about this um, and using them in Premiere is that you can control the intensity. And so for me, this is a little too intense. I'm gonna lower it. Right now you can see that the intensity is at 100. I'm gonna lower this down to maybe about 60. That to me is looking a lot more right. 
you can still see there's a huge difference between this kind of flat and boring image straight out of camera. And then once you apply the LUT, all that vibrance, you get way nicer blues in his jacket. And the flowers falling down, nice bright pink, it just looks a lot better. Let's go to the last clip. In this last clip, because it's a shot in log, I'm expecting it to still be a little flat even after I apply the LUT. And I'll show you how to correct that. So let's just choose cocktail. And if I slide down a little bit, you'll see how it applies it. Perfect, all right. So I really like the starting point on this. And if you're going for kind of a flatter look, you might be okay with leaving it like that. But I kind of want to punch up the contrast a little bit. And you'll notice that down here, I've also split my video layer with my adjustment layer. Um, this just gives me a little more control and just understanding where I'm putting what. So in my adjustment layer, that's only gonna be my LUT. And then any corrections and stuff that I'm gonna do to this footage, I'm gonna do directly to my video layer. So I'm gonna click my video layer and I'm gonna add contrast by giving it an S curve in the curves tab right here. So I'll just drag down the shadows, lift up the highlights a little bit, and that's already looking a lot better. If I tag, if I uh, switch it on and off right here, you'll see how much better that looks with a little more contrast than just the LUT provided. So if I, and if I turn my LUT on and off by enabling and disabling, you'll see that the LUT itself takes the colors, all these teals, and really punches those up too. All right, so I'm not quite done with this. I think I'm gonna crush the darks a little more, but now the, now the face is a little shadowy. So I'm gonna go back into my basic correction up here and just pull up my shadows just a tiny bit maybe about there and then i'm going to take my blacks and i'm going to crush those just a little bit and now 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 there's a huge difference and if i turn the whole thing on enough you'll see that i've added contrast but i've still retained the right lighting all using my lot pack and that's pretty much good to go i'm, I'm ready to send that to a client and that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you learned something new and can now use these tools to enhance your color grading while using LUTs. Just wanna remind you guys that all the LUTs used in this video are from our fresh new Castaldo LUT pack, which is available now on our website, the links below. All right, gang, stay creative. I'll catch you guys next time.